What's up, everyone? Another Void back with more Hearts of Iron 4 for you. Episode 4, getting right back into it. Because we have a heart of iron. So, anyway, um, our plan is still looking good. I'm just going to get going with the time here. That's really unfortunate that we had to redo that line, but I'm pretty sure... See, they're doing it one... They're not doing very quickly at all. They're building them really, really slow now. But what I really want to do is make sure we're actually building up you know, BF 109s now. Uh, instead of HE 51s, I don't want any more HE 51s. They're bad. Why would I be building those? I told them not to build those. I told them to build BF 109s. So I don't know why that's happening. So Rhineland's almost complete. Once that happens, we are going to move over there. And for the next set of political power, I'm going to be spending it on getting, um, getting. A strategic guy for my industrial research because that's going to help me research those a lot faster since that's a majority of what I'm doing right now. That's what I'm going to pick up real quickly. Real remilitarization of the Rhineland, its German territory. Germany has stationed troops in the Rhineland territory close to the French border in clear violation of the Treaty of Versailles. The local population cheered the German soldiers on while the diplomatic relations from France and Britain have so far been muted. It is no more then the Germans walking into their own backyard, a political commentator in Britain observed. Yeah, so basically what this was is after World War One, everybody was pretty much like, hey, I don't want to go to war again. They thought World War One was the Great War, the war to end all wars. Well, obviously there was World War Two, so no. But everybody was like, look, I don't want to go to war. We're just at war. Let's just let them chill. It's their own territory, whatever, right? So let's set another focus. Now we'll be going for the Autobahn because um, we want industrial effort. That's what I want to do. While we're, while it's early on, I want to grab as many things as I can as far as building up my industry and stuff. Um, so this is another great thing. Army experience 10. Uh, will be abandoned if Rhineland Challenge met. I don't know what that means. It's, it's one of these dudes, but I don't... Where is it? Huh, I'm not sure. Um, also, I'm going to be working on air a lot. So actually getting... Uh, okay, that is that, Okay, that gives me research speed for Battlefield Support Doctrine. Um, Battlefield Support Doctrine. I think... That's Naval Air. See, I don't want that because I want Strategic. I want uh, Air Superiority. I don't, I don't care that much about this stuff. Um, because I don't want to get bombed is really what it is. Don't want to get bombed. So if we go back to this, I'm going to work on air while I'm doing all this stuff. And then, because this isn't going to help me, but this will land doctrine. That's going to help. Because if you look at over here, land is doctrine. That's anything in here. And we are going to be going down blitz. Um, so this doesn't really help this does that's it's still battlefield support doctrine see I don't care about that German air innovations radar tech air uh, doctrine or I mean technology speed bonus but we're not gonna be spending we're basically gonna, gonna go down army and we're gonna go down treaty with Russia uh, what's that do treaty with the United uh, USSR reduce ahead of time penalty by or gives a 50% research bonus to the Panzer III, that'll be good for us for when we attack. Probably we'll get that before we attack France, but I'm not positive. Or I mean after. And we'll be going for armor. But it'll also help us get alliance with Soviet Union because we do not want them attacking us. I'll probably be going after that anyway. I'm not exactly sure. Research slot we talked about is really far away. It's going to be hard to get. Not exactly sure I want to get the extra research slot right away. I have a lot of other things to do. Like, demand uh, student land, student, uh, student ten land. That's the uh, ring of mountains around Czechoslovakia. We're going to want that. Um, that'll make it really easy to take them out, because we won't have to fight with Alpine troops uh, in the mountains. Improved national spirit. We don't need that. Naval effort. We don't need that. Uh, and then also... Eastern Claims, this will give us some, some free land over there uh, on the east. Slovenia, what does this do? Uh, effect. 
World tension increased. The London Conference. See, this doesn't feel like it benefits me, really. Uh, we have to control Austria first. So we'll be attacking Austria, but I don't, I don't see anything in here that says that. Uh, Hungary gets event. Gains first uh, opinion of German Reich. Goes up. We're going to be attacking them anyway and taking them over. Hmm. Fate of Czechoslovakia. See, these don't... What's, why would we pick these up? At peace with Czechoslovakia. This focus will cancel, blah, blah, blah. Gets event, the fate of Czechoslovakia. So I don't know if that is a benefit to us or or what. It seems like it is bad. Poland gets event, Danzig. So, okay. Blah, 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 blah. What is this? Again, tell me what the hell it is. I don't know what that means. So, it's just... Like, let me click that. Why is this not working? I don't know what that means. German Reich uh, is in faction any country. One of the following must be true. The following will bypass the focus. One of the following must be true. Is that war with Czechoslovakia? Czechoslovakia does not exist. Any country is in faction with German Reich. Puppet of? Okay. It, the time has come to divide the old Czech lands between those who can govern them properly. We should also consider creation of a separate Slovak puppet state. I don't know why. I would, I'm not sure I would want to go down that road. Your friend Poland? Yeah, right. <laughs> War, France is already going to be done a long time before that. See, this doesn't... I don't understand this. They need to tell me, like, why do I want that stuff? What does the actual benefit? The effect is, like, some event happens. Well, what's the event do? So we're going to be really doing a lot of this other stuff. We don't really care about this other junk. So, effect, Austria gets Germans press for... Okay, I think it just means they want it more. Again, I'll be looking that up off camera. One of the things I also didn't do... Let's just fast forward this because there's nothing more to do. Oh, wait, no, we need to move dudes, right? These guys... Well, we're going to have to draw their lines separately. Kind of wanted to draw them the same, but you're basically going to be right here. That's your front. Same thing with you. Let's draw his front to right here. Okay, so 24 divisions getting ready for war. Right? They're getting ready. And then, as you can see, this is where you can see if they're on the, uh, on the railroad. That's the... Uh, uh, infrastructure so if it gets damaged it's harder to move your troops around if you come out here to construction you can see how much railroad you have we have a lot we're pretty pretty set up on railroad um, we did get more rail uh, there was something that gives you a lot more railroad oh it's um what we're working on right now the Audubon gives us more railroad so it's gonna make it easier for us to move our troops around a lot uh, so we're gonna get them going now why don't we just start drawing out a plan here so they can start working on it um, Rommel, your attack is going to go like this. So one thing I've also learned is don't give them too many attacks because it's, you have to redraw them. They get all screwed up. Um, I want you to come up to here, right? Then I want you to go up to here. The problem is they might go around. So it's kind of better if you draw another line here. Uh, let's do it another another one here. This is the way I want them to do it. Then up to here. But what does it say? No divisions are assigned to this probably. So maybe we need four. Let's try to edit that. I think there's a way to... Let's move this. There we go. Why is it... Nope. Nope. Uh, nope. Exactly no. So I don't really like the way this is set up. Escape while trying to cancel. Oh. Uh, no divisions. See what I mean? Why is it doing that? Let's get let's get rid of that. There's a way to to kill it. So, hit, click and hold the mouse button on the advancement arrow to reshape it or connect with another order. Nope. 
no divisions. Uh, oh, I gotta do it again? Okay. No divisions. Well, can I just delete it? Let's see. Right-click and hold the mouse button on one of the blinking orders to begin painting an advancement arrow. Hold Alt-Right-Click on battle plans to end edit pin... Editing pins to edit them. Why don't I just... Can I do that to kill it? How do I delete it? Hit this button. Uh, alt, right click, click and hold the mouse button. I don't want to do that. Please, please move the mouse cursor over the one of the highlighted provinces to reshape them over the blinking orders. I want to bring this back. So if we get out of this, see still no divisions. Divisions assignment mode. Hit the button to toggle the mode or roll control. Highlighted fronts to assign the current selected units. To unassign them from an order, press H on this mode. Uh, I feel like we should just redo this. It feels like these are wrong. Lines can be painted, blah, blah, blah. Divisions assigned to a plan with an offensive line will try to take territory to move their front line there. By the time we get here, we're probably just going to be manually doing it. But you kind of need a plan to get bonuses. Because your troops get ready. So let's redraw his line. No, I don't care about that. Your front is right here. And you're going to advance up to here. Why don't we just draw two then, since they're having a problem with it. We'll advance to there, then we'll advance to Antwerp. Oops. There we go. There. Four divisions, and I'm, I'm guessing four divisions. We can't read it. Oh, there's a... See? See that? That's wrong. That is incorrect. That works. Okay. You don't. You gotta watch those arrows really close. See this? See this arrow? They're gonna go around to get that. Why would they do that? I have no idea. Why don't we just edit this? Because I don't like that. See how they're gonna go backward? Watch. See, they're gonna go backward. Mm. And you can't delete once you've started. Let's just delete the whole thing again. Draw it. And then draw the battle plan. Why don't we just say take Brussels? We have to do more than one. See, they're saying just do this. Let's do it to here. Then we'll do it again to the to here. Maybe we should just do that. See, then, then it says no divisions. And there's no way to delete them. Toggle the mode or hold alt right click on battle plans editing pins to edit them. Click and hold the mouse button on the advancement arrow. Nope, that didn't work. Click and hold the mouse button on the advancement arrow. No divisions. Well, I want to kill this. How do you kill it? C control click to assign select to select. Okay. Control click to assign selected units to this order. Oh. That's all I have to do? Okay. Oh, no, it's all. Uh, no, not all at once. Oh, maybe it's because I dr didn't draw it in here. We'll get the hang of this. So this needs to come up to here. Oops, I didn't edit. I want to hold on. There we go. Like that? No divisions are assigned to any of these. Again, let's just kill it. This is this is what I have found with this system is it's really hard to get this thing to work correctly. So let's just say advance to here, and then we'll do it again, and then you're going to advance to here. But see, that does it from the back. See, and then they're going to do it. They're going to go around. Maybe they can't deal with such a small area. Maybe that's what it is. Really not sure what, what we're going to do here. Uh, no, not edit. Maybe I was pushing the wrong button. Okay, so we're going to attack into there. What? No. Move this. A little frustrated here.
because they're doing this wrong. All right. Sorta. Sorta. I don't... I just want you to take... Well, I guess you need to take both of those, so I guess that works. The next thing I want you to do is do it again, but not with a totally... Not from there. I want you to go from here. And they're going to circle around again. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, guys. To me, this is a bug. This is a serious bug. Offensive line. Here. You did that correctly, so let's do that. Actually, it's more than that, so let's draw it to here. Like that. Did you do it correctly? You did! Now, after that... Right-click and hold the mouse button on the map to draw an offensive line. Lines can be painted only on territory you have signed as a, f a front line or naval invasion. Okay, so... Divisions assigned to a plan with an offensive line will try to take territory to move to their, their front line there. So, what I want to do is make another front line. I'll just make it up here then if they're having a big problem with that. Okay, now they're doing it. There, that's fine. I think it's because it's too small and didn't know what to do. Okay, so that guy has... Um, he's got. He's ready to rock. Now we have to do the same thing with this one, except we're going to go a little bit wider berth with this guy um, because I want them to take the pressure off the panzers. So we'll go here first, and then we'll go all the way like that. They'll just push through like so. Um, I want to edit this to make sure that they attack and... Nope, not that. This guy's... I want to edit this one to make sure... What are you doing? Well, let's move this, and then we'll move this one. And move this one back. There we go. So that'll be good. I think that's what we want to do. It's going to look just like that. Okay, let's fast forward a little bit here. We're all set up. Oh, we have way a lot of political power. I wanted to put that dude in, huh? I want this guy. Industrial research time, 10%. That's going to help us out a lot on our industrial research, get us up to speed. Um, I probably want an army dude pretty quickly before... So I think organization percentage... Oh, okay, on supply. We don't really care about that. Striking power of artillery in the attack. Division attack, 10%. That's pretty good. Speed. I don't care that much about speed, but we're going to want some kind of army thing before we attack. We're going to want an army, dude. Um, let's let's check out this production thing. Let's see if, if it worked. So this is going to take forever to come up to speed, but that's okay. Let's look at our logistics and see if we're building um, BF-109s. We are not! Why aren't we building BF-109s? I'm going to have to check that off camera. We probably can't do anything about it right now anyway. All right, do we have any... No, we don't. We would notice if we had new um, dudes trained yet because they'd show up right here. We'd have more than one there. So our guys are on the front lines. They should be getting ready. We'll just look at their plans here. Plan is risky. Division still preparing. Plan doesn't look risky to me. Denounces Belgian ideals. This is me uh, basically building up my war claims here. So let's go look at Belgium again. Let's see how far we've gotten with this. 60 out of 245. Oh, it's still going. Sometimes it's hard to tell if the clock's running or not. So, let's see what this dude thinks. Oh, he says, hey, we're good. Inferior enemy. What's wrong with you, man? What's wrong, uh... Army 2? You know what? I think... Well, let's just redraw their plan, then. He doesn't like his plan. He, th he thinks it sucks, huh? All right. Let's just redraw him again. Maybe we'll draw it to here. What about that plan, huh? Then we'll draw it all the way through. Oops, we got to add, huh? What about that plan? Risky? Are you preparing yet? They are prepared. No, they're not prepared. What are they doing? 
Looks like they're prepared. How are they prepared already? Plan value zero. That makes no sense. How can I have zero plan value? All right, so we got engineering. Let's go get let's go get some more. I'm gonna keep going down this line. I want a reduced rate. Uh, reinforce rate's pretty nice with radio there, and also we can get radio uh, radar stations. We're not gonna be able to build them yet for a while, so there's no point. Decryption plus one. Click for details. What does this do? Decryption will show information about units on the map. Oh, okay. Focus tree progression from other countries. Higher value than the enemies. Oh, okay, so this is kind of like decoding their messages, right? Encryption. This will make sure they don't do this to us. Wow, that's really nice. 5%. Another 5%. Radar station level 2. So these are just boosts to the type of radar station you've got. All right, we're going to go down this route. Doesn't seem like that's going to help a lot. 3%? I'm taking up 20% of my research on 3%? That's it's pretty sad actually. But the earlier you get it the better the more it helps, right? Is that in the future? No, that's now. Okay. We're still working on this one. All right, we're looking good. Um construction Good. Hurry up and build those factories, man. We're, troops are almost trained. When that first wave of troops comes out and they get trained up, we're going to attack. We'll probably be ready to attack by then. He still doesn't like his plan, I don't think. Is everybody ready to go? Plan value 10%? Why? Why? You're not telling me why. It's fine. We'll just execute it. I don't care. I think that's a bug as well. We should also have more Panzer units before we attack, which will help. So we have enough to actually pick up another guy here. I think division attack 10% would be good. Training time less, that's kind of good. This means we can pop out troops faster. Which is going to help us early on, but I think attack is better because this helps us throughout the war. So we're going to pick, well we can also get in here and pick one of these dudes. One of these guys does some really cool stuff. Armor, division, attack, and defense. Rommel? Yeah, he's awesome. Is he in the field? That's why he's... Things grayed out. Has completed focus army... In, in, oh, so you have to get army innovations for that. But that's fine. We can do that. Um, I want to get another bonus to... Nuclear research. We don't care. Army experience gain. That's pretty good. Mobile warfare, warfare doctrine research time is down. Isn't that where we're doing mobile warfare? Let's look. Uh, yes, so we could research this faster, which would really help. If we get um, that special guy, uh, he's right here. So what do we get with this guy? Battlefield support doctrine, I don't care about that. So these are... Research dudes. Uh, yeah, these are research dudes, but I really wanted to get... Um, there was a guy in here, I thought, that gave us... That's rocket research. Army experience, land doctrine. Armor max speed, that's pretty cool. Nuclear research time, I don't care about that. Oh, let's get... Maybe we need one of these guys. Oh, here we go, yeah, construction guy. Civil factory construction speed. We should have got this guy first. That's going to help us out a ton with building up our factories faster. So, is it because... What does this say? A unit unable to move to a province along its path. That's why they don't know how to go through here? That's why they don't know how good the plan is. Is it because they don't know to get, how to get over here? Well, I guess we can just kill his plan again. How are they doing with that? Wait. Uh, what are you talking about? All you're doing is sitting right here. Yeah, it's some, we got a bug, guys. We got a bug. Let's just do that, and then I want you. I want you to go to here. There. 
All right, it's fine. There's nothing we can do about this. It's a risky plan because they the computers having a hard time figuring that out. It just can't figure it out. All right, three percent. Why is it going up? I thought it was just two percent. Justify Wargle. Uh, uh no. Uh, you can see the Justify Wargle time go down. I think it's because I'm justifying a Wargle against Belgium. How's that going anyway? Where are we at with that? We have a long way to go. That's fine. We have a lot of more, a lot more to do. So we're we're cool. So what we're gonna want to do though is add some of these air units over here. We'll probably take some air units from way over here. So we probably should rebase them. If we look at um, our air. We're going to want to take the strategic bombers and fighters over into Brussels, which, yep, angered by Belgian, those native citizen, citizens of German Reich who imagine the Belgian as a people of peace are entirely out of touch with reality. Those who live, oh wait, I forgot to bring in our special dude, those who live at our border do not have the luxury of such delusions, seeing their troops closing in on us just across it. This is a threat we cannot live unanswered, leave unanswered. With every passing day, Belgium is preparing for war. It would be madness for us not to do the same. That's why we're massing troops on the border. The Belgian military presence close to our territory has sparked increased concern as this nation appears more and more to be the enemy of the NSDAP. That's Hitler's uh, political party, I think. Whether it's the cause or the effect of their polemic is a matter, polemic? Is a matter of contention. Yeah, we're ready for war, man. We're going to pounce on those dudes. Hopefully it's quick and goes really fast, but I'm pretty sure it will. So I think what I'm going to do is execute... Uh, this, what's this dude? Von Box plan first and let the infantry get in there a little bit. Because um, I'm thinking the it's going to mess up our plan here if we just wait. Uh, what are we waiting on? How are we still doing with... Okay, so you can see we have more motorized and towed artillery. And not enough support and light tank. So I'm going to switch motorized and towed to probably to support an infantry and a little bit of light tank. Probably infantry. Actually, these are almost done. Support and infantry, probably. So we need... Who do we have too much of? Motorized. So we need light tank... Motorized and towed can go to light tank and infantry, I think. No. Support equipment and infantry. Uh, so towed artillery and motorized can go to support equipment and infantry. Okay. Balance this out. Naval dockyards, why are you not... Oh, it produced that one. Oh, okay. It says it's only going to produce this amount and then it stops. So if you want to produce more, you have to tell it to produce more. Um, I'm fine for now. I don't care about my navy. I mean, I, I, it's fine. What we're doing is fine. Um, still, I don't think we're. I think we're still not getting. Yeah, we're still not getting BF 109s. I have no idea why. Is it because we can't produce them yet? We can. That makes no sense. We have them. BF 109s right there. Researched. Build them. Like, if you look at this guy, it's a totally different 1-2-1, one, one, right? 1-3-1. One, one. It should be giving me BF-109s. Why is it not? Let's look at air. Why are these guys not... So, if we go to this air base... Actually, we have an air base here now. Escape out. Let's put um, some planes there. Let's create a new wing here. So we'll put all of them over there, but we're going to change this to... We want 100 fighters here. So they'll keep putting new fighters in uh, as they come out. I don't know why it's the HE-51. We're not building those, so I'm not exactly sure why. So they're deploying. They're there now. They should be there. They're there. We can, let's put the ace with these guys. They're going to have to be basically doing the most of this stuff. And we'll put them in here. Oops, this guy's going here. There we go. Nice. Probably should move these guys to the Rhineland, huh? We're going to need them. 
so they're going to get rebased as well because we're going to need them in Brussels. Uh, what about uh, what about this guy? Tactical bomber. We need close uh, ground bombers or whatever. Uh, escape. Oh, we're pretty much out of time. Uh, let me do this though before I forget. Let's move the tactical bombers. I thought we had close air support bombers. Where are those dudes? Where are JU-87s? Why don't we have more of these fighters over there? Just split this. Alright, uh, let's split this guy. Split the air wing in two, and then we're going to move that one down here. So they should be here now. And we're going to put... Where's select all? There. Yep, okay, good. These fighters should also be on support. These aren't Ju-87s, uh, huh? Am I not building any Ju-87s? Is that why? These all It's all fighters here. We need, we need some uh, support aircraft here. Tactical bombers. Dornier Do the Do 23. Hankel HE111. Okay, well let's move these guys here. Move these guys to here as well. We don't need them there. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. They need to be close by. We don't need them over there. There we go. Sweet. Okay, now when we click this, we should have tons of these dudes. And they're all already fighting in this area, right? Well, they are now. Okay, so what we're going to do is reassign those once we start the war. So that's going to do it for episode 4. Let me know what you think. What about that BF-109 uh, bug? What is that bug? Also, how have you guys kind of gotten around the bad uh, orders when you draw uh, the... Um, offensive lines and having that issue let me know what you think in the comment section and how you might have gotten around those bugs or if they are bugs and as always everyone stay frosty